angles you see that the way that the, the, the all the things are on on uh, pointy angles going outwards kind of thing and the idea is that, that it's, it makes it harder to get a cannonball to hit it square on okay and um, things like these um, this this the whole idea of this little section here and then having a second wall here basically that wall protects this wall from from cannon fire you notice it's quickly over there you can batter away at that one and get it and make a, a ramp of rubble there but you can't batter the next one down uh, there's no way to break a hole through that wall uh, it's also helped in fact by the slope in these cases because you can't like, there's, there's no way to knock this wall down and make a hole down the bottom you, you have to climb up because of the slope and that's what it's all about it's about slowing the attackers down so the idea you make a the, the attackers will make a, a basically they'll smash the wall break it as like, low to the bottom as possible and make a mound of rubble that the attackers then have to clamber up but while they're clambering up they can't shoot you know, they can't, they, they, it's very hard, you know, they can't do anything basically other than climb up the, the, the rubble basically. And while they're doing that, people will be seeing the top shooting at them. Right. You, uh, you called this a, a killing space, you mean so that uh, the intention was that if anyone ever did come over the if top? If they do get over there, they, there's this open space that basically the people at the top of the next layer of fortifications, which has obviously been taken down here, right, that, so that, that wall would, be, would have been higher, I'd oh, say. Um, and yeah, so you'd have people on the, the next level of parapets who would be shooting at them, and possibly the cannon emplacements as well. You can see the, um, the cannon emplacement just there, the, the, the basically the doorway, right? And those two windows there, they're set to, to shoot down into that, 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 wall, that section between the walls there. So, it's, yeah, it's about, about getting, getting, you get lines kind of thing, so, and this is like, this rampway coming up here, right? You'd, you'd set a squadron of troops here, so, now a small number of men here could could protect against this whole area. Basically, once that's captured, you set a, a group of people here, you know, a few layers deep, and they'd just be doing volley fire as people try and try and come forward. Yeah. This yeah, is no, guns, right? Not guns. Yeah, muskets and cannons, kind of whatever whatever they, they had available um, and whatever emplacements they had. You know, it's difficult to see when they when they obviously reduced the walls. Yeah. And hand to hand would have been what? Bayonets, uh, bayonets mostly, um, and the officers would have swords. But the, the, the most of the troops would be would be muskets with, with bayonets. What and about the women? Exactly what time period? They'd either be uh, <laughs> bayonets that that are, that are put into the musket, which means you basically can't fire at all, or they'd be socket muskets, that, which came in uh, I think in the 1700s. The, the yeah, you know what? Nobody's muskets. mentioned a year. What are, what are we talking about here? Well, he said uh, he said uh, the 16th or 15th century, didn't he? 1500s is when this yeah. is, when this was started being built. Oh, okay. 1564. But uh, there would have been additions and kind of things like like those those quite modern looking ones. You know, they so would have been added in the, in the, the 20th century. Really was but in other the bits of it would have been would have been rebuilt in the in the 16 in the 1600s and in the 1700s again and again in the 1800s. Because right? every time someone comes and attacks, you have to rebuild the, 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 the defenses. Yeah, because these sorts of walls wouldn't protect against a battleship volley coming in from above. No way. Yeah. So these these against modern against modern uh, combat basically, this is pretty much useless um, because you've got airdrop kind of, kind of things, people are just coming from above, you've got helicopter gunships who come and just wipe it out, you know, no, not a chance. So, yeah, the, the air, air, air warfare obsoleted all of these kind of kind of fortifications, and that's why nobody builds them anymore, uh, even though they are awesome. They look cool, and every single bit of it has a purpose. There's, there's no, you know, I mean, apart from the little round bit on the top kind of thing, you know. Apart That's so that, the birds don't sit on it. Poop. Well, actually, there is a, a bit of a purpose to that. It's to, it's to stop it being, if you had to have a round dome, then rain hitting the top of it will, will erode it faster. Oh, you, put, you put a cap like that on it, and uh, it's a long, long, longer oh. before it gets eroded away. Oh. <laughs> so there is actually a purpose. So there is actually a purpose to having a little knob on the top of your... your, oh. your, your I don't your, have that on the... Uh, you think they would restore it just as it was? Put a cap on it. Well, you got to find stone masons that are, that are yeah. capable of doing that. That's yeah. the yeah. concrete. Yeah. Uh, you can easily get concrete stones. 